Hello friends, uh, welcome you all to my YouTube channel Trinity English Joseph and in the yesterday's video we have looked at the description of the persons and friends in today's video we are going to describe about the place describe description of a place or describing places please watch this video until the end to get a better view of how to describe a place and this is mostly useful for class 10th and intermediate students and it is also used are uh, useful by the general people also so please try to share this video for the better view of many people please subscribe like and share my channel and now let us look at the details of the description of a place friends we would look at the describing of the places and you can just look at the various places here and you can also observe like pyramids houses of parliament venice whatever it may be maybe my house and there are uh, various things in this way the different kinds of places whatever you just see around that everything can be described and what are the questions that you should put into the mind when you just describe it that means these are the main things that we generally write about which city or town or village is it where is it the location and then uh, what is there to see and do and then maybe most important places of visit and then what are we going to do what is the city like so how is it how does it look like and it's uh, famous for and why is it meaningful to you how are the people what kind of people do you find there what is their way of living and everything what's the weather like and what is the and how is the food like how is the food and just friends if you just uh, look at the main thing of the description of a place and generally you have the first paragraph and then in the first paragraph you just look at the name of the place name and location of the place and then you know just simply a small example i have given the isle of uh, sky is in the northwest of scotland so there is uh, one particular place and then we have uh, tried to describe it and then after that when you come to second paragraph describe its physical characteristics what are the physical characteristics and then you know it is known for its magnificent coast and its uh, beautiful so this is the character physical characteristic special features and points of interest and then here what are the main things to be remembered not many places to see but beautiful sights splendid mountains and coastline so if you just look at the pictures here keeping these pictures in mind you have to describe about it before you describe you should have some picture in your mind and then describe about it you should visualize that in the mind before you describe you have to visualize that place you should try to keep that place in the mind and then plan about how you are supposed to describe about it and if you just look at the third paragraph friends third paragraph we just speak about the atmosphere of the place people culture and the lifestyle of it and then historical details and then how are people what do they live on and then historical details of the different other things and then here after all these things finally we just make a conclusion general conclusion about the place and if you just look at i have given a small example here the isle of uh, sky is a great place to visit if you like to look at beautiful landscape and traditional way of living so this is the general conclusion that we can give to a place and friends what are the useful expressions that we do have here it offers the views are you shouldn't miss the atmosphere is it's located in it's far away from what i don't like about it is the dislikes that you have about it's well known for it's possible to it's got you can see it's close to so these are the different specific uh, useful expressions friends 
and then uh, if you just uh, want to talk about uh, the location you can also speak about it so you can see uh, by the sea on the coast and then in the country in the north the south west or east of something on the river name and then uh, in a valley on a plain so in this way you would have uh, different things friends if you would like to describe about the atmosphere okay the adjectives are in this way peaceful and quiet not busy calm free from activities ancient with a long history you can talk about beautiful very pleasing on the eye charming a picturesque view so nice very pleasant in a unique way cosmopolitan city with a varied mix of cultures and languages boring dull uninteresting that's what we are supposed to talk about bustling bustling a crowded busy place compact not very big within a small area noisy full of noise or busy and then a uh, unspoiled having an altered character pure and immaculate this is what we are supposed to talk about and friends to describe areas in town downtown the central or lower part of a city especially the main commercial area that's what we are supposed to so i have given certain uh, terminologies here uh, to talk about outskirts bordering areas or districts of a city suburbs a residential district situated on the outskirts of a city or town is called as suburbs and then industrial zone an area for the purpose of industrial development is called as a industrial zone and residential area suitable for residence so these are all the different areas where you can just talk about or describe about and then friends if you just uh, just look at the buildings cathedral shopping center library swimming pool theater or cinemas sports center museum hospital bank police station church department store chapel supermarket castle hotel motel inn or hostel arts gallery university skyscraper so these are the some of the buildings that you can talk about and then if you just talk about the shops bookshop butchers bakers chemists fishmongers stationers uh, tuck shop or kiosk sweet shop florist laundress tobacconist opticians shoe shop boutique iron mongers green grocers off license jewelers furniture shop grocers dry cleaners news gamets news agents so this is what we are supposed to talk about so these are the different things about uh, shops and then friends if you just look at you just see about the types of houses house villa beamed house so and then you can just uh, terrace and then a uh, semi and then thatched house so there are uh, different things like this the types of houses you can just talk about and friends here i have given one small example describing about the house my flat is divided into two floors on downstairs i have all the important parts of the flat such as the kitchen bathrooms etc friends if you just look at here you you can just see the division of it and uh, if you can visualize the house or the place whatever you are talking about and it will be easier for you to describe about it without visualizing plainly if you are supposed to say you cannot put the exact life into it friends if you just look at and on upstairs i have one room where i kept the washer and dryer and one big terrace downstairs the floor is divided in eight rooms four of them are bath uh, bedrooms other two are bathrooms and then one kitchen and one dining room in my bedroom i have a lot of things who for example one television one playstation three many trophies and then this is what uh, we have just divided and then uh, pedal etc in my sister's bedroom we have the computer and in the other two bedrooms are from for my from my parents and my other sister normally we eat in the kitchen but on sundays we eat in the dining room 
in my flat i have one storage room and two parking garage so this is uh, this is one small example okay in an easiest way possible and we can also uh, add some vocabulary and different other things i have just given the simplest form of writing and we can also make it better by writing in a better way and friends i have taken another one more place about warangal warangal is the well known city for the bravery of kakatiya dynasty it's not far away from hyderabad just 120 kilometers the views are fort warangal which is called as ekashila nagar as it consists of a solitary rocky mountain along with a temple and a small lake on it one shouldn't miss the thousand pillars temple musical garden ramappa temple and the lake in palampet the good thing about this place is the people of this city are really warm hearted so this is one of the uh, exa essays that we can talk about description of a place and we can also make many more essays like this so friends uh, thank you for watching my video and please subscribe comment and then please uh, share to many friends so that they also can benefit from it and uh, they also will learn how to describe the things in a possible way thank you all uh, see you in the next video take care bye